and you're back with another craft beer review with the kissing cousins. Mm-hmm. I'm skinny jeans. I'm Chad the Tank. Let's get it going. Guess what? We're unboxing some beer today. Oh, oh yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, we're gonna unbox it. You see the box. The box. <laughs> the box. What's inside this box? Oh, it might be the greatest I've ever had. You want to dive inside this box? Let's dive inside this box. Oh, some oh. 16 <laughs> ounces. Oh, you oh dang, you got some 16 you. ounces. Oh. Oh. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a 9.8% alcohol by volume. Convenient distraction to peel your border by Oso's Brewing Company out of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Hit us up on our social media. We are Off The Tap on Facebook, Off The Tap 2018 on Instagram, Off The Tap 2 on Twitter, and Off The Tap GB 2018 at gmail.com on email. I can't wait to try this because guess what? It's cold out. And this is the, this is the season for them. It's porter and stout season, ladies All and gentlemen. Right. This, this beer is, uh, is a porter brew with Madagascar bourbon, vanilla bean, and ruby roasted coffee. I'm a big vanilla person. Like ice, ice baby vanilla, or like a vanilla gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna oh, tell you a little shit. bit about this place. Shit! No! 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 no. Oh, you got it ah. in the front! Oh, come on! Oh, man! Ah. I lose. Ah. I lose the game of. Gosh darn it! <laughs> this place. This <laughs> place has gone through some change lately. So. They are. And they established in 2007 out of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Okay, so I was there two years ago in the middle of the winter when there's nothing to do but get drunk and go to breweries. And ride snowmobiles drunk. This place had renderings for a brand new facility. It looked beautiful. A huge plot of land. They were going to hop, grow hops outside. This, that, and the other thing. All of a sudden, put the angst to it. They put in a new tap house down in Madison, Wisconsin. You might have heard of it. And... Guess what? A little bit of a back burner on the new brewery, which, who's to say whatever? I mean, you, you have to kind of like put into perspective like expansion. Is expanding as far as your brewery going to be better for you or is... A, a new location. Yeah. Which, so, so hopefully this drives that expansion, you know, with the new location. And they make some really good beer. I was there a few months ago and I got the entire, I got a flight with basically every beer that they had. It's like, I don't know if it's called Around the World or whatever, but they give you, it's kind of cool. Like you, they give you the old diner tray. Did you walk grew, in, did you walk in standing, roll out stumbling or something like that? No, no <laughs> not quite. It's, but they give you like one of those old diner trays, and then they put a sheet of paper on it. You write all the beers you want on there, which is virtually everything they have on tap. Did they have this one? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think it was a season yet. Like you were there a couple months ago. The mm -hmm. season just hit. I went there like early summer. So we'll see what happens. I mean, it's it's that time of year. It's getting colder out. Porters. Stouts. We actually have been letting this warm up a little bit, so it's a little bit warmer when we're gonna drink. Just how you're which you to should pour drink, and drink these. Porter and a stout, probably a little bit below room temperature is where a lot of the flavor is going to be. The brewery is really cool because they're big tanks. They have them all painted up like the Cookie Monster, Big Bird, I think it's Big Bird, <laughs> stuff like that. Like, yeah, it's just all, sweet. it's like all one color and then they throw a face on it, so. So one thing about an Imperial is it's going to be a little bit less bitter as we know for most Imperials when it goes to your Porter Stouts. Your Imperial IPAs, all that stuff, they're a little bit less bitter. Okay. So you shouldn't get a lot of bittering on it. Um, the Oso's okay. name, if I am remembering correctly, I don't know if we've done a beer from them. No, we have not yet. But I feel like the name just kind of came from, oh, it's it's Oso. It's Oso good. It's kind of like a Wisconsin thing. Oh, Oso, Oso. Well, yeah, it's Oso good. <laughs> so that's kind of, I'm pretty sure that's how they got their name. If I remember from the tour... Correctly, that's what happened. So we might as well give this they, they a just brewed their first beer like it's also. Yeah, it's also. <laughs> yeah, let's put it out. Very caramel. That smells and delicious. Coffee. Hints of vanilla. I, I mean, it smell smells like... absolutely delicious. <laughs> I don't smell like a lot of the bourbon. Mm. Wow, there's a lot of caramel notes to that. Wow, I enjoy that. That is good. 
Wow, is that a good beer? Yeah. Like, it's... Oh, my God. That is a... Pretty delicious. That is really good. Holy man. Did that vanilla bean in there? Yes. Like, I love that. Vanilla. Like, vanilla and coffee is... They go funny. together like ketchup and peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> They're delicious. <laughs> Seriously, this is like it's really good. Like you, you, from all the malts, you get that caramel note with the coffee, and then the vanilla is just backing it all up. And my I favorite, don't take like a bourbon. Like normally, you get like that alcohol flavor, and I don't, I don't get a lot of that. I do kind of get some of that, like on the back end. No, like on the fr- like the very front end. Like I can taste that, that very potent alcohol taste. What I love about oh, yeah, I guess I guess so. What yeah. I love about these like wintry heavier beers is like the head tastes absolutely like it. I just love like the it tastes like it feels great. Yeah, <laughs> and I love doing that because you get a full mouthfeel with the head too. Yeah, it's it's so good. I like, guess this is a really good beer. No, yeah, it's definitely up there. Drinkability. Oh, I, it's gonna be that. It's gonna be in between. I'm gonna say dead in between, so it could go either way. Beginner and intermediate, or intermediate and beginner. I think it's like dead center in the middle. If you, kinda, if you enjoy coffee, though, like coffee is one of those. Oh, like, this is a beer that you're gonna enjoy. Thoroughly. Absolutely. Hey, I guess we're kind of hitting a crossroads here because we're coming up on our year mark. And last year we didn't do a whole lot of porters or stouts in the winter time. We just kind of ran. And I've been digging for them deep already, and it's early on in the season. So I guess our scale has to change a little bit as to what could be a beginner or not, because I think what we looked at as a beginner into craft beer is what we related it to was. Someone that normally drinks a domestic beer, would they enjoy this? Probably not. But then again, we also look at flavor profiles. Like, mm-hmm. I was at the bar the other day, and there was a girl, she's like, oh, I don't drink crab beer, I drink mixtures, but there's only this one one beer, and it was a raspberry from New Glarus. Okay. I'm like, well, you should try this. Like, yeah. If that's a profile you like, and that's one thing we do got to look at and consider is, like, somebody's flavor profile of what they like to eat or what we could pair it with. Right. It's like, if you're going to drink coffee or you're going to eat chocolate, I think that's the best way to describe is like, are you a big fan of chocolate? Are you, as far as pours and stouts, regardless of whether it's a chocolate anything, are you a big fan of chocolate because of the bitterness? No. Yep. Are you a big fan of coffee? If you're either one of those, then we can direct you in the right the proper. Point. Yeah. Yeah, like even when we were out in Colorado, we did the same thing for mm-hmm. people that didn't know what they wanted in the bartender's radius. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. Like, we helped a lot of people out. That was funny. That was like, yeah, that was funny when we were out there. A lot of the bartenders were like, nah, I don't know. Uh, no, like, well, what do you like? Do you like this? Do you like that? And it, But yeah, I mean, if you like coffee, this beer is. I like this. Jesus, for Christ's sake, there's coffee beans on the can. <laughs> right? <laughs> didn't even realize that's what that was. I just thought it was cool designs. That's coffee beans. Man, I tell you what, it's a good thing. This is like one of my more favorite beers right now, too. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this. And with a high alcohol content of 9.8, I thought it was going to be very bitter, very potent. Dude, it's a well-brewed beer. Like These guys have a lot of good beers, though. Like I will give it to Oso. They have and they're very well-known for their sours in our area. Mm-hmm. So, they- kudos, shout-out. That was awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Skinny Jeans. I'm Ted the Tank. We are off the tank. Keep her tuned. Cheers. Seriously, that makes it better.